Hello, it's Paul. I want to give you like a, an introduction to Slack today where it's going to give you better communication with your team, better ways to communicate with technicians, accounts, sales, whatever you're working with in your business where you think that there can be better communication. This is going to replace email. Not totally because you're going to need your emails, but rather than trying to email a technician or what you're probably using at the moment is WhatsApp. I think this is next level up for WhatsApp. It's going to be easy for you to search contacts, search uh, messages, and you're going to find Slack really easy to use. It's the number one. No, it's so it's, it's the it's the biggest growing app in in communication over the last year or something. The there's a famous spike where the, the amount of people using Slack uh, has gone through the roof, and there's a reason why because people love it. So what you're going to use it for is team communication. So sending messages to technicians, sending message to your administ administrators, your salesmen. You can have uh, a separate channel for a department. So you might have direct messages, and then you might have a, a um, an installation department uh, group where you type in, we're just about to start a new product, we're going to install this from now on, or... We've got a meeting, we've got a team meeting at 7 o'clock, um, 7 o'clock, at like 12 o'clock or whatever time your team meetings are. Uh, and again, we like accounts, so you can have a channel where you can speak to a group, you can speak to individuals, you can have a product channel where you might say, right, we've, we've just started installing a brand new Virgo alarm, um, and not a brand new, like a brand new Virgo alarm product, and you might say, what's happening tell, tell us your feedback technicians write in what you're finding that's good what you're finding that's bad and we'll go back to the manufacturer and we'll tell them to help us develop a better product um so you, i'm going to walk you through exactly how to use it it's completely free to use for as many people as you want but for ten thousand messages so this is where after you've had ten thousand messages if you need to search through your history then you're going to have to pay. Now, I don't personally see if it's just, you know, if it's just replacing text messaging, if it's just replacing quick emails. Hey, have you got that job done? Hey, are you on that site yet? Hey, have you, um, you know, any problems? You're going to get that job done today. You're not going to have to reach, you're not going to have to search stuff like that. So as 10,000 messages come through, it drops off. You can't search past 10,000. So that may be a thing you want to consider before you jump in. If if you're going to use it, um, like I'm, I'm not sure I would use it with customers. I'm not sure I would have a customer Slack unless you can. You you'll watch this video, and you can decide whether you think having customers in your Slack uh, is beneficial to your um, to your function. And then you may want to re you know go back to before ten thousand, but. For what we're going to show you in this course, you're either watching it on YouTube or you're watching it in a mini course on happymesecurity.com, I'm going to show you exactly how to get running with Slack for your team uh, step by step. So continue watching. I'll magically vanish and we'll get in. You'll have to bear with me a little bit on the um, technical side for the simple reason. When I talk to myself on communication tools, it can get a little bit confusing. I'm going to show you it on the browser, in the app on a computer, and I'll show you on an app on my phone. But uh, when I get talking to myself, it can get a bit confusing. So stay with me. I'm gonna drop out and we'll get right into it. Thanks for watching. Right, so first video, we're gonna talk about creating a team. So you're gonna come to slack.com and we're gonna sign up and we're gonna create our first team, which is, um, you may want to have teams for separate departments. I'm in this video, I'm going to show you how to have a team for your whole company. And then you may look at it and go, well, we need to create a separate team for the salesman. We need to create a, a separate team for um, another department for some reason. But let's get through it and then let's talk about what you really think you should be doing. We'll have a discussion area within this training where we can really you know, get to grips with what you think you should do. So first thing, create workspace. And uh, you're going to need to put your email address in. So what I'll do is I'll use this security at uh, paulnicholson.com. It's easier for me to use. I, I really would use um, Happy Me Security's domain, but 
with paulnicholson.com, I can, I can use multiple email addresses. So I've got a confirmation email on its way. I don't think I'll hear it because of the, uh, that was my little briefing. So I'm going to get a confirmation email, 845-283. Okay, checking code, so it's happy. So I'm going to put my name in as full. And then display name. So this will be, the display name is what's going to be like at your name. So I'm just going to put Paul. But you might, obviously, you're going to have more than one Paul in your company if you've got a lot of people. Put in a password. Da, da, da. And it's going to ask you a few questions. What will you use your Slack for? We're going to, in this instance, work. Uh, financial services, consumer goods. I mean, it's all just information for them, I think. So we'll put technology because you're a security company. How big is your company? Again, it's not going to affect anything pricing-wise. It's not going to cost you anything. So just put the truth. One to ten, I'll put for mine. What is your role? Um, I don't think there's a big wig option, so you're going to have to put in your manager or owner, business development. Business owner, are you a manager? Do you report to? Do people report to? So yes. So now you're in, you're going to name your um, your team, right? So I'm going to call mine, you would call it whatever you, whatever, whatever you want it to be, dot slack dot com, right? So I'm going to call it Happy Me Security, because this is where you'll probably be watching. Oh, try your best to spell security, right, Paul? And actually, on that last step, you can just name your name your team, whatever your company is. And in this step, you're going to say, what do you want it to be? So when you go to a browser, you're going to get this unique URL. Um, so you're going to, you know, whatever you might be, your company, Ace Security or or team, whatever. Whatever you want to remember. So I'm going to leave mine as happymesecurity.com. Sorry, it's going to be happymesecurity.slack.com, right? Review the terms. Everybody, everybody obviously reads them. And then you can invite people. So if you've put, you know, on your sign up um, at yoursecuritycompany.com, so if you're Apex Alarms, say, so if you're Dave at Apex Alarms, it's now saying, do you want anybody to be able to join? at apex alarms so you can you can leave that tick so if anybody gets your link to your to your slack they can join with a company email address that's what i'm saying so if they've got your company email they can join or you can invite them so i can invite dave at paulnegelson.com lee or what you can do is and i will show you what I do now get is when I do these videos, um, I get hundreds of emails <laughs> to all these different people. So send invitations. So you can see you can invite your team. You can let anybody on your domain join. It's going to give you a walk around with the Slack box. You can, you can practice talking to somebody. So hello, I'm Slack box. I try to be helpful, but I'm still a bot. Sorry. Type something and hit enter. So you can go hello at... Slack bot. So you can tag people with at, right? Please to me. And that just sets you off into the tutorial. Here's the direct messages. So here's the channels. Here's the direct messages. Here's where you can invite people. So you can click add. Oh. And what happens here is you can create a, you can create an invite link where you can, let, uh, you can let anybody join. So this may be where you want to look at letting customers sign up or just basically instead of inviting everybody by email, say, hey, you need to, um, in the next seven days, you need to go to this link. So you would probably just go email, see all the emails from Slack inviting me in. So we go, hello, or... You need to join. Oh, you don't want to put your need in the next seven days, right? I'm just and you wouldn't be as rude as that, but and then you change. You'd hit the link, or you put um, join Slack, and then highlight it. I mean, I know you know how to use an email, 
But that because that um, because that ah <laughs> because that link's so long, you might want to uh, use it as a link, add link, and then paste that link in and make it so it's just like. As I say, you know how to use email. So that's how you set up your team, right? And now you've got, I'm going to go into in the next, stay with this video, but you, I'm going to go into the next video and show you what to do with channels and direct messaging, okay? Okay, so now let's talk about um, when somebody accepts an invite or joins your Slack team, what happens on direct messaging and channels, right? So I have just done this, but I accidentally... I accidentally deleted the recording, so here we go again. So here's one of the, here's one of the invites. So what you've got is a, a an email email into your inbox. So you may want to man you want to invite all your managers and tell your managers to invite their their staff into your Slack. So what you would do is just click join now, because I've already got <clears throat> my default browser open. I've just copied the link and I'm going to paste it in there but you would just click join now don't worry about that bit so this is this was lee right so lee nicholson display name neat lee oh by default the slack will uh, but you would choose it something shorter if you would like at so you would add a password and i agree i left it ticked again so this is where they can then um, invite their team so they could put all their team's email addresses in, it would send them invites. So now I'm going to skip the tutorial because we've already been through it. So now we've got three members, Lee, Dave, and Paul. Lee's obviously you because it says it. Now if I want to message Paul, I can just go direct messages and say, hey, Paul, uh, can we talk? Whatever it might be, right? So I've just enabled Chrome notifications. So that's the Chrome notification to... Um, my account, which is open on Chrome. So this is where it's going to get a little bit funky for you to understand. Um, so I've got a notification from Lee. Hey, Paul, can we talk? Now, if I go back, so Lee's on Firefox. Yeah, I'll come see you. Right? No notification from Firefox because Slack needs your permission to enable desktop notifications. So if I click on that, I don't usually do it because when I'm recording videos, I'll get, I'll get notifications all over the place, right? So yes, I'll come and see you uh, back in office in, in 20 minutes, right? This is Lee to Paul. Paul gets a notification on Chrome. So I jump into mine. Call cool, see you then. Right, so this is just one-on-one -on -one direct communication. Nobody else can see your um, nobody else can see your your direct communication. This is a private communication between you and that person. Nobody else can see it. Right now, when we talk about channels, let me just so channels are group chats. These are places where more people can see and and be invited to. Right, so. When you see it, see the default as general and random. So random stuff's going to be, um, you know, somebody's birthday. Somebody, you know, did you see the football score? Did you see just general chit chat, right? Uh, well, I guess that's what general's for as well. So what you want to use general for on random is going to be up to you. So what we're going to talk though is about um, managing channels for set areas, right? Now these are public channels. I believe that everybody can see. Oh no, you can you can make it private. This channel only only be joined for be or viewed by invite, right? So you can have the executives on a private channel, and you might have an install. You might have an install channel where an executive doesn't want to be in on the chat all the time, but wants to be able to see stuff. So what we'll do is we'll create a, a public chat. We'll call it installs, right? And purpose, install department, send invites to, right? Now, Dave might be the install manager. So I'm going to send it to Dave, but not Lee, because Lee's in accounts or whatever, and create a channel. Okay, so Dave gets the 
uh, notification saying you've been invited to a channel. Um, others in your workspace can join your channel or you can invite people. Right, so it's a public channel so other people can join if they want. I'll leave it because it's always a good reminder. Right, so Dave joined. You've made Dave join, right? At Dave. So you might go, at Dave. This is where you want to tag people in because they'll get a specific notification when they've been tagged rather than viewing new messages in there. So at Dave, um, what's the on books total? So what's how, how much works on the books, right? That's that question. Right, that might be a private question. We want to ask all the installers. So I've got Dave open in Safari. So you'll see now he's been notified on that on the Safari and up here in installs, there's two new messages. And if I click it, uh, you just join installs, created on October, you were invited, the purpose of this channel is the install department. Got it, right? So here's Dave and uh, I don't know, let's say what I say, 15,000. Uh, new work, 25K in progress. Something like that, right? So, notification on Slack. Now, if you've done an edit, I'll do, I'll do a separate video on, on the little funky um, extra things where you do a forward slash and you do a, all the, I'll do the, um, the tips, like I'll do a section where, I'll teach you all these funky things. But if you put 25 and you're meant to put 26, you just press up and then go back and edit it, right? So then again, you just press up and that gives you access back to that, right? So what you'll see there, so now, uh, because it's open, it jumped off that, right? So 25, so you can, you know, give you your emoji. Oh. Oh, give you emojis, give you, I don't know, a stuck out tongue winking eye. That's what that emoji is. Or whatever, right? You can mess about, you can see. Yeah, so Dave gets the chat. So you may want to put installs, accounts, account department. Right, and you might want to make that private because there's obviously sensitive information and leaves a um, accountant. So you may want to make this and see now you've got a padlock here. So these are public groups, whereas this one's a padlock. So for instance, if I go to Lee, who's uh, Lee's on my Firefox, right? He's going to see accounts, but he isn't seeing installs, right? So if he goes to search channels, he can see installs. And he can preview it. This is where I'm saying the boss can drop in. The boss can drop in and, and have a look at what people are talking about in public channels. Or you could invite the boss, but then he might get notified. Or he'll get, he'll, get, um, he'll get poked a little bit more if he's joined somewhere. But you may just want to view that, right? So Lee can see installs accounts, general and random. But if I go to Dave, I'm sorry this is confusing, you'll see he hasn't got accounts. And when he goes to channels, uh, the private one isn't showing. So you can secure a channel to just certain people. You know, uh, you can make a direct message to more than one person too. So you could you could make so this is me. I'm going to create a direct message to Dave and Paul. So I want a group chat. I maybe should have added this to the last section. So you want this is now saying Lee and Dave here, right? What's happening? Right. So they'll get notified. So there's so we're talking about direct message one on one, direct message to a group, private, private direct messages, nobody else can see. Right? If I go to if I go to Lee, you know, he can't see any direct messages between Paul and Dave. You know, so it, it's private, private messages. But now you can see here's a group message. Right, and now we can see accounts he's been invited to. Got it. Set the account up. Cool. 
accounts will love this, right? So now we're talking, we're talking private channels, public channels, private one-on-one -on -one chat, group one-on-one -on -one chat, really cool stuff, okay? Right, so now let's talk about the app. So if I were you, I would actually have the app working on your computer, whether it's Windows or Mac, I use a Mac. But if you go to this down arrow here, you are going to see, uh, let me go to mine so I don't confuse it. You go down arrow and they open the Slack app, right? And then it's going to jump you to the page. If you have, if you have got the app on your computer, it will just open it. But it's going to say to you, download the app. Right, so I'm going to click either download here. If you feel a little bit more secure in the App Store, you would download it in there. I'll just do it from here. Uh, shall I? I'll open it in, in here. Viewing Mac. It, it's a bit confusing, isn't it, with Mac? So don't open. Open an App Store. It's going to open the App Store. It's going to go to app, um, to Slack. Same as what you do on your phone or, or with your Windows machine. So I'm going to install it. I literally did it this way because... Um, because because basically it'll update automatically from the um, from the app store. So it's going to take less than a minute to download it. Okay, so it's downloaded. I'm going to click open. Now I might get a little bit funky here because I'm already logged in, but it may ask you to log in at that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into Happy Me Security. And just for people watching it, if you want to come and join the Happy Me Security Slack group, I'll put a link. And if you're a trade company, obviously it's geared around security companies. But if you're a trade company or something, you want to come and ask questions, I'm going to open the Happy Me Security Slack group as, as the website um, forum community. So I'm going to continue. Uh, what is your sign in? Oh, okay. So it's now going to ask me to log in. So I'm going to be security at paulnicholson.com and continue and the passive word and sign in. And it's going to look pretty much just the same as the uh, as, bo 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 as boxes pop up everywhere. Would you like to switch? So I, t I put myself to away, so yes, set me to active, so I'll get a little green circle saying I'm online. Uh, it's just showed me there, to t if you want to tag somebody, you just click at. So I want to say Dave. And that will jump in, it actually put me into his, into the general. So I might just put hello, all oh, uh, desktop app is cool. Right, new message in general. Hello all. Uh, you may want to turn off notifications from this. So in the desktop or the mobile, just mentions uh, or nothing. Mute entire channel. So you might say, I don't want to hear anything from general. What I'll do is when I come to general chat, if so if I now go to... <laughs> I go to, is this Dave? This is Dave on Safari. If I go to Dave and he's gone to general as a highlight, because there wasn't a direct message to Dave in that, it just went white saying there's new messages, but they might not be for him. So if I go, yeah, I have it too, but using Safari. Right, there's gonna be no notification. There's a little red dot that says new messages, but there's no notification pop up, jump out, because I've turned off those notifications on there. But on here, yeah, I use it. So if I'd have wrote that, if if um, David had wrote that in random, uh, ah, working, I get the notification. Look, this is a slap app down here, Dave. Yeah, app working, jumps me straight to it. Coolio, Dave gets a notification. So the app is really cool. It's exactly the same as using the, um, using the, the web browser. 
But you don't obviously don't have to have the internet open, the internet, you don't have to have a web browser open if you've got the app. There's going to be better reasons to use the app, I think, on your um, computer. So that's the app. Um, I'm going to go into deep. I'm going to put some training on happymesecurity.com with more in-depth videos on how to use that. You might already be watching it on, on one of these videos. I'm going to go in. There's a lot of funky little tricks and tips to Slack to help you um, get the most out of it. But the next and the final video in the series, I'm going to show you the mobile phone version. Okay, so bear with me. Sorry guys, my uh, mobile phone's a little bit playing up at the minute, but what I will do is I will have recorded a mobile phone version in one of the lessons on the Slack community, uh, on starting a Slack community in happymesecurity.com. I'll put a link to that training where you can come in and you can see all the videos individually because this has now turned into a 30 minute video. Um, maybe it's a good thing my phone stopped working. So if you're still here, there's a link below in the YouTube channel on how to, uh, on where the training will live. And you'll see each section of those videos will become a lesson in that training. So if you or your team need to jump in and take a set lesson just to remind how the channels work, how do I invite somebody? How does it work on my phone? I'll put a separate lesson in, in um, for each little one. So they'll, they'll become three or four minute videos rather than a 30 minute video. But I hope within this training, that you'll forgive me because it's been scatty, because it's hard for me to talk to myself. Um, there's a lot of things I've left out with Slack. There's a lot more features. You can update, you know, you can put an image on a Dropbox and say, what do you think of this logo? And then someone can go and edit the Dropbox logo and it'll update and, you go, and it automatically updates in the feed. You can drop videos on there. You can drop files. You can share your... Um, your manuals and things like that with technicians here's the manual for so and so you can imagine that i've given you a 25 minute 30 minutes by the time it's finished training on slack but it's it's uh, ability is kind of endless and it integrates with all sorts of things via uh, zapier you know we can email can integrate with things like active campaign it can trigger your, your crm system it can do so much more so what we'll do with in the training course is get more into depth with exactly what Slack can do for you. You're going to tell me, you're going to ask me questions. Come and join the Happy Me Security Slack um, discussion in Slack. I'll give you a link for that as well. And we'll get more, more uh, out of Slack. We're going, to, we're going to teach us all to communicate better via Slack and other apps that may bolt onto it. Uh, but hopefully you've, you've enjoyed Another take on uh, me trying to explain Slack. Um, I'll see you all soon. As always, leave me a comment below, any questions, but come over to Happy Me Security Slack training and uh, dive in. Don't have to be a security company. I do gear everything towards security companies because uh, I've been working in security for 25 years, which is scary to say, but so it's easy for me to do something I know, but it will be relevant to your trade or your business as well. You'll just have to adapt it a little bit. All right, so thanks again for watching. See you all soon, guys. Thanks.